everyone, my name is Ari Fluelling, and I'm a Staff Development Specialist for the Riverside Unified School District. And something I've been asked about quite often is how to make an interactive newsletter. So that's what I'm going to show you today. But first, let's take a look at an example. What you're currently looking at is a Google Slides that's been modified to look like an 11 by 8 and a half inch page. So you're probably thinking, why do Google Slides? And the reason we want to use Google Slides is because newsletters often have mixed text layouts. This could be created using tables in Google Docs, but I personally think it's a lot easier to use Google Slides to create these text boxes. In addition, Slides allows us to add videos into our newsletter, as well as different types of word art, and there's different options with your images that makes creation really easy. So this is what our normal Google Slides page looks like. Let's go ahead and close the themes and get rid of these two text boxes. And as you can see, I've already named this my junior newsletter. But now we need to click on File and Page Setup so we can change our page size. So we're going to change it from widescreen to custom and change it to 11 by 8.5. The reason we want to change it from 11 to 8.5 is that way if we need to do a printed copy of our newsletter, the page setup will match correctly. So now we have our 11 by 8 and a half inch page. So let's quickly add a title to our newsletter. So we're going to click on text box and we'll draw a text box at the top of the page. And now we'll type in our title of our newsletter. Make it nice and big. Center it. And I'm going to go ahead and change the text color to yellow. And to make sure people can read it, I'm going to use the paint can to change the background to black. So now there's the title, title of my newsletter. But our newsletter also needs an article. So let's click on a text box. And I'll just put it right here. Put in my article text. And to make it stand out, we're going to change the line, size, line weight and the line style. And now we have an article inside a box. The last thing we need is an image. And we'll go ahead and go with this guy. Make him nice and small so he can fit inside of the box. And there you go. You have the beginnings of a newsletter. Good luck, and I hope this tutorial was helpful.